He needs to get that. He needs to get back to home and show that he can actually. He's play. getting close to having two outs, and that's not what they want. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter if we get another out. I mean, that guy will pretty much just get the home no matter what. The scores are on. Yes. 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 Finally. That guy's the best runner. runner. We got the first point. Yep. Next one out, middle first and second. This is going to be a tough game. Wait, it'd be funny if he gets another ball. We need to get another ball. So it'll be 3 2 1. Because we've already had 1 2 3, now we need 3 2 1. We've already had 3 2 1. You see that he got a base hit and they scored another run. Andre Ethier. Does he want to look at you? Does he want to Yeah. Yeah, because I kind of figured that since you're maybe you're taping this one. Mm-hmm. You're pretty much yesterday at WVU so so me and the kids we got the basement to ourselves now now this video I think I'm going to entitle it Louise Cruz Los Angeles Dodgers um, me and the boys we just got back from Pittsburgh you know about five days ago on Thursday we were there for all four games uh, just to make it clear my days of worshiping people, Dodgers are over, Joe Bimel is the last, I'm done with it, but I can still root for certain players, want them to do well, but I'm not going to keep making videos or even pray, you know, talk about it even after this. Well anyways, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to chronologically tell my Pittsburgh story, because I, I really haven't talked about the Dodgers in a long time, you know, I've been, I don't know, that other shit just think about it, it irks the hell out of me, but, um, you know, Luis Cruz, he was actually going to be, you know, playing on the, playing at the AAA All-Star game, but he got called up to the Dodgers, did really well, then he kind of faded a little bit, you know, but still, you know, contributing, you know, the way you would hope, so, you know, I went ahead and just, I just bought a Luis Cruz T-shirt, Luis Cruz T-shirt, <laughs> and actually, as of today is on Tuesday, the twenty-first of August. There's like a lot of debate out there. Not that, maybe, maybe not necessarily debate, but a lot of talk about you know Luis Cruz and you know what's situation with him, D. Gordon coming back, um, Harrison coming back, and I think the consensus is is you gotta let the boy play because he's just he's been on a tear, and I think the tear kind of started somewhat when I showed up in Pittsburgh. Um, you know, I, I worked half a day on, on that Monday. My wife brought the two boys to work, and then we head up to Pittsburgh, got there just before the gates opened, you know, watched the game. Found a cheap hotel outside of Pittsburgh, and then about 10 o'clock, you know, they actually let me check in 10 o'clock Tuesday morning, checked in at the Pittsburgh Renaissance where the Dodgers stay. Well, anyways, like I said, I bought a Luis Cruz, Luis Cruz jersey, just, you know, it was not because, you know, I'm worshiping him or, and, you know, all that, just, you know, just because I did. So I went to the team hotel wearing a Luis Cruz shirt, not jersey, but a shirt. I got. So just a simple t-shirt, Luis Cruz. 
my wife still hadn't washed it. I ought to smack her upside the head when I'm done with this. Women need another place that's, you know, washing their man's clothes and having dinner on the table when they get home from work. Well, anyways, you know, so I'm at the hotel, me and the boys, and it's that Tuesday. But, oh, but let me just backtrack real quick. The Monday game, Louise Cruz didn't start. They started Kennedy at third, Ellis at second. Dodgers are um, up by one. You know, top of the ninth, we need some insurance runs. So they call on Louise Cruz to pinch hit. Boing! Pinch hit double to lead off the inning. Yes, we're going to get an insurance run. Well, guess what we did, and they left him stranded. But Kelly Jansen had an uneventful ninth inning, so we won by one run. So feeling good that first night. So anyways, the next day, like I said, I'm at the team hotel. I got my Luis Cruz shirt on. And I think I'd walked, you know, out in front of the hotel. I, you know, I'd seen a lot of Dodgers. Hadn't, you know, Luis Cruz, I hadn't seen him yet. Not, I mean, not that I was going to say anything to him or anything anyways. But I'd walked out and, you know, I'd walked back in and I saw there's Luis Cruz kind of standing right there. And I just go, the boys are still sitting there, so I went to sit down, but kind of as I was, I was going to sit down, Ken Howe, Ken Howe, he's like, that, that's, you know, he just got the boys, like, that's, that's Luis Cruz, that's Luis Cruz, and I was like, yeah, I know. And then Ken Howe starts talking to, to Luis Cruz, he's like, hey, Luis, is that, is that your first? Is that your first, meaning, you know, the first, you know, Luis Cruz shirt you've seen, and, you know, Luis Cruz is, yeah, that's my first, he's like, looking at Ken Howe, looking at me, so I felt like I needed to speak to him. So I just kind of said, uh, you've done a really good job since you got called up. I you know, appreciate it. And he's like, well, thank you. Thank you. So uh, that's that, that's the Louise Cruz story. Um, <sighs> so anyways, that night, as Dodger fans know, Billingsley pitched the eight innings, I believe, of shutout ball. We won 11 to nothing. Luis Cruz, I think, kind of had he, had, he had the big hits early in the game to give us the lead, because he was like three for three early, but then I think he made two outs late. He was three for three, I think, with maybe two, three RBIs and a run or two scored. Um, it's, it's like, that was kind of funny. Cruz, Cruz guy, Cruz, you know. <laughs> I was just wearing the jersey, him producing like that. Um, but as most Dodger fans know, I can only imagine what was going on with the Dodger fans when they saw the lineup. Juan Uribe batting second. Huh? Because they had, actually, Luis Cruz was, was um, giving Ellis a day off, so, so Cruz was playing second while Uribe was playing third, and Uribe was batting second. I'm like looking at the scoreboard, it's like, huh? That's the batting lineup? Before the game? Like, what? Luis Cruz? I mean, Juan Uribe batting second? Well, you know, we won 11 nothing despite Juan. Uri Big went over for four in his first four bats before he walked and scored a meaningless run in the ninth. But that night at the hotel, you know, one year when they get off the bus, one year but he kind of stays in the lobby and he's sitting there. And you know, I'd gotten up and I noticed he was sitting there. And I mean, he looked downtrodden. He looked, you know, I, I felt bad for him because you could tell that he was hurting inside. That he's hurting. That he's not doing well at all. And when that was going on, the boys, they had gone up to the room. We were on the third floor at the Renaissance. And I went up to the room and was like, boys. I mean, actually, like, it was like a, a pity autograph. I, said, I told the boys, like, because, see, I don't talk to the players really. I don't, I, you know, I let them be. But I went up to the, the room and was like, boys, Juan Uribe, because I talked to them about Juan Uribe when he was starting, how, you know, Dodger fans might be, like, why are you doing this? Um, I said, you got to get his autograph. Maybe that will make him feel good. So, you know, I went and got the boys. We come down on the elevator and, well, Juan Uribe, he's like getting on as we're getting off. So, that Tuesday night, didn't get um, Juan Uribe's autograph. I'll continue this in a moment. Okay. Before I continue, let me say, on that Monday, Randy Choate threw one of my kids a ball. But, of course, from the distance he was, I had to catch it. And this is something bizarre that happened, okay? Bizarre. That Tuesday game, me and my two boys were sitting there. About the seventh inning, this older man comes down. He's like, you know, I'm from Cleveland. Uh, you know, I was, you know, I have this bobblehead, and I was looking for Dodger fans to give it to. And he gave us this bobblehead, you know, and it was kind of like, huh? okay, well, yeah, we'll, we'll take the bobblehead. So real quick, that Tuesday, 
this some guy gives us. Well, let me do this right. A James Loney bobblehead. It's just Kevin. Yeah, mean, we're sitting there, just you know. Oh, oh okay. Well, I mean, just give us a James Loney bobblehead. And also, and shortly after that, this like five-year-old kid comes, and my the one boy sitting on my left, he's just like, takes the ball. He's like, man, he's like, here, you can have this. It's like a major league baseball, a real ball. So. I kind of looked back as the kid was walking to sit with his parents. I told my son, I was like, go t go give the ball back. Just because I, I don't know the kid's motive. So my one son, I guess I wasn't watching, he takes the, you know, the ball back. Then he, my, my son comes back and I guess something about this kid stole the ball from another kid, but the kid didn't want the ball back. So the parents was like making him give it away. So I was like, well, fine, we'll take the, the you know MLB ball. And then on Wednesday, during batting practice, they hit one in the you know foul ball, and I walked over and grabbed it. So we got three balls. There, I'll get to that later. So where do I need to be now? It's Wednesday. Give me another break to, to think. Okay, I knew there was something I was kind of forgetting. I knew before I left, like there was talk about Jerry Harrison being hurt, and just like Luis Cruz. Like I said way back when in The Legend of Joe Bimel, you know, I'm a fan of the underdog, but I'm not, Joe Bimel, the whole that, never, that, that over, <laughs> never doing that again with another player. But if you're a Dodger fan watching this, you can't help but appreciate and just be like, and we're totally fascinated, fascinated by Elian Herrera. Because when Elian Herrera got called up, you're like, who, I was like, what? I don't even know who this guy is, and you're calling him up to the majors? And as you Dodger fans know, I mean, he was really, he was a, he was awesome early on. And, of course, you know, he ended up fading and got sent back down. But he was, you know, you can't help but appreciate what this guy did for the Dodgers. So, I, I mean, if he was at the game Monday, I didn't see him. But I know Tuesday at the hotel I saw him. Like I said, generally I, I don't talk to players or nothing. But I'm like walking out of the hotel in a suit. You know, there, you have like the door, and then you have the little space before you actually walk outside. Here comes Elian Herrera with you know his which I, find, which I would realize is his wife, two kids that are able, small kids that are able to walk, and a kid in a stroller. And it's just like that. And I see Elian Herrera, and I couldn't help but just like say something. I was like Elian Herrera. You've been, you're awesome. Something like that. Just real, I mean, just spur of the moment. It just kind of happened because I wasn't expecting to see Elian Herrera, even though I'd heard about Harrison being hurt. And he was like, you know, something about him, you know, it's your awesome. And he's like, well, thank you, thank you. Just kind of, it was almost kind of the same as Luis Cruz. So, yeah, you know, I guess that was nice to the Dodgers. I assume they, when he got called up, the Dodgers paid to send his wife and his three small children out there. But of course, <laughs> after the after the pirate series, you get called right back down. They were sent right back down. So, um, so that's a little Elian Herrera story. Why am I calling this a Juan Cruz video or Luis Cruz? Not Juan Cruz. Juan Cruz was just released by the Pirates. Juan Cruz also like blew the save in the seventeenth inning that the Pirates won in nineteen, which I was watching a couple days ago, which is the awesomest game of the year. So anyways, this is, like I said, a Luis Cruz video. Uh, it was supposed to be, but I've really gotten off track. So anyways, I know Wednesday, like I would see Luis Cruz a lot, a couple times. Like I know one time he was like, he said wave to me, and I was like, hey, what a Cruz. I mean, Luis Cruz, <laughs> Luis Cruz. <laughs> Can't even remember his name. That's terrible, Luis Cruz. It's not Juan Cruz, it's Luis, Cru Luis Cruz. So anyways, That Wednesday night, the Dodgers, you know, won their third straight game in Pittsburgh. And, you know, you, you see things when you're there like me. And, you know, I, it was like, Luis Cruz, like, kept walking across the bridge from the hotel. Because the, cause the hotel's, like, right across the bridge from the stadium. I know it's like when two times he, like, he got to the hotel, walked, came back, walked, came, <laughs> came back. So in the meantime... I'd noticed this, you know, it's kind of a, who's a he about 30 year old couple, probably married. You know, the one guy was kind of heavy, the wife wasn't. And this is probably like midnight. And I'm, I'm in a lobby and they start, they're sitting there and I'm getting ready to walk on the elevator. 
and, you know, they start talking to me for a while, and not my kids, they see my kids, and I guess try to, you know, all that, and, but, so I'm like, I have my back to the elevator, and, you know, they end up talking about Luis Cruz, because I guess there must be some, I mean, there are, like, sort of bar type places by the stadium, and I guess they'd been over there, and she was like, you know, she had been talking to Luis, to, to um, Luis Cruz for for a half hour, and she was just like she was just like glowing about Luis Cruz, just like how he is so friendly. He's the most friendly guy she's ever, well, you know, one of the most friendly guys she's ever talked to. He was telling her his life story, and just she was like glowing about him. I mean, I don't, what's the point of this? I don't know. <laughs> but I said something to her. I was like, well, I remember saying something like, well, I think he came up with the pirates, and she's like, well, yeah, he told us about that because he's from Mexico, and uh. I guess his family in Mexico knew a Mexican family in Pittsburgh and they must have, you know, took took him under their wing when that period of time he was with the Pirates. And But they were, she was just like, I just how, you know, great he was. And actually, at first he didn't even know he, who he was. And then, you know, I guess through talking to him, but she was like, just saying how wonderful he was. <laughs> so in the meantime, while she's saying that, you know, I got my Luis Cruz shirt on. You know, my back face to the elevator. Well, guess who comes out of the elevator? Louise Cruz. And she's like, you could tell she'd been drinking a little bit. <laughs> she's like, oh, we were just talking about you. And Louise Cruz is like, oh, I mean, you can tell he's a good guy. He's like, oh, I hope that nobody was nothing bad. Because I remember, I remember saying something to her, like, well, does he talk good English? She's like, oh, yeah, he talks really good English. So I'm still trying to figure out the point of this. I don't know. So let me just keep babbling on. Get off the Lloyd's Cruise for a moment. So anyways, like I'm telling my kids about Juan Uribe. And of course, you know, we're at the team hotel and, you know, we're not, even though we got those baseballs, we're not, I'm not, I'm not asking for autographs, my kids aren't. But they keep saying they want to get Juan Uribe's autograph. Juan Uribe, Juan Uribe. So that Thursday, we're sitting there as the team, you know, come, keeps coming out to check out. And out comes Juan Uribe. And Palmer, he didn't have his balls with him. Palmer kind of got disinterested, but Peyton, he was just, he was like Juan Uribe ready. Peyton was Juan Uribe ready. So I told him, there, there's Juan Uribe, there he is. So Peyton, my God. So Peyton got his one autograph of the, of the or, well, hold on a second only autographed baseball of the series, Juan Uribe. You know, this ball's almost perfect, you know? Almost perfect. But Juan Uribe signs it on that little scuff mark. So there's our one autographed baseball from Pittsburgh, Juan Uribe. Remember like I told you about the James Loney bobblehead? Well, I went ahead and told Peyton, if James, when James Loney comes out, y'all just see if he'll sign this for you. So, like I said, I don't want to bother the players. I really don't. But I don't think it's going to, you know, harm if a kid comes up. I don't do this to resell it. Never have, never will. So, Peyton got Loney to sign this bobblehead that, you know, bought the box that was given to us on that Tuesday. Seems like I'm missing more. I don't know, oh, oh, by the way, just take it back to Luis Cruz in Atlanta, Friday. Hanley Ramirez, home run. Next up, James Loney, home run. Next up, Luis Cruz, home run. <laughs> this is like, I'm watching like Luis Cruz, he's awesome. Saturday, Luis Cruz, home run. <laughs> Then last night sucked, you know, Dodgers back in second place, but Luis Cruz bats three times, two times, boink, base hit, boink, base hit, two for three. Clayton Kershaw has two hits, the pitcher, and then Cruz has two hits, Kershaw two hits, and the whole rest of the team has two hits. You know, Cruz has two of the six, so does the frickin' pitcher. I'm gonna get mad thinking about last night. Okay, over, stop. So, anyways, Pittsburgh's looking great. Three for three. I'll tell you what, if you're a Dodger fan and you're seeing the Dodgers play four games, you'll take three out of four any time of the year. But let me tell you how stupid people are. 
on t on, it, first of all, if you're like wearing a Dodger jersey and your kids, it doesn't mean you live in Los Angeles. Why do people always ask me if I flew in from Los Angeles? No! No! I mean, if you have 1,000 Dodger fans in Pittsburgh, I'd say 3% of them, if that, are from Los Angeles. I mean, this is, I mean, there's Dodger fans on the East Coast. Okay, my goodness, why do people always say that? It's not a big deal, I know, but it's kind of like, no! No! I live in West Virginia. So anyways, that Thursday game's a 4 o'clock game, and you know, i got to get up and work Friday, but, you know, it's still get out of there at 7, get home near midnight. Down 3 nothing, up 4-3 down 8-4. So I told the boys, I said, you know, if the Dodgers don't score in this top of the seventh, then we're going to, we're going to go ahead and leave. Well, the Dodgers scored two in the seventh to make it 8-6. You know, it's a ball game. But in the bottom of the seventh, the Pirates had the bases loaded, two outs, Clint Barmas batting, base hit, two run score. 10-6, Pirate fans are, woo -hoo -hoo. you know, I am who I am, and I've accepted that, and, I, and I'm proud of it. I don't care. I'm not changing who I am. So Barmas gets the hit to make it 10 to 6. So it's like, you know, we'll just listen to listen to it on the radio and go ahead and get an early start on the on the way home. So me and the boys, we start, you know, get out of our seats. Go. We're sitting in the outfield bleachers. <laughs> have a nice, have a nice flight back to Los Angeles. <laughs> You know, I took a couple steps and heard that, and I stopped. You know, I'm thinking in my head. I'm thinking in my head. Don't do nothing stupid. Came right back. Have <laughs> a nice trip to Los Angeles. <laughs> Just like that, turned my head, pointed. Three out of four, six out of seven, you stupid mother. And I mouthed it just like that, cause, which is good for me, which is good for me. Because, of course, the Dodgers swept the Pirates in L.A. in April, won the first six, six out of seven, three out of four, six out of seven, you stupid. I mean, people are stupid. How are you going to taunt me when, when, when we're getting ready to at least, unless we have a good comeback, we're going to sweep otherwise three out of four? That's how stupid people are. Well, anyways, I have just like, for the longest time, and... That first game, I, I filmed some of it. Andre Ethier, when he got robbed by Garrett Jones, I almost had a good shot of it, but I think I goofed it up. But I think I'll finish this off with some some highlights of that first game. And no, I didn't get Victorino's home run, but I got maybe a few other things. I just, I just did it on Monday, but after that, I was like, I ain't filming with the video camera. So seems to be something I'm missing too, but it was a good time. I, I, was, I was proud of my boys because I didn't figure they'd want to stay for that fourth game, especially like when we had to kind of check out and just hang around until the four o'clock start. But my kids loved it and God bless their abused hearts. And, you know, you know, last year I wasn't allowed to take my kids to Pittsburgh because of the, you know, where they raided my home with the, you know, search and seizure over the internet harassment. And I couldn't leave the, the state because I guess I might never, I mean, I live in the stupidest county, and I can't imagine a stupider county than this. Can't do it. But last year was the first time I hadn't been to Pittsburgh, probably since PNC Park opened, thanks to Putnam County, West Virginia. Great jobs. Great job, state police, on the internet harassment investigation. Good work. It only took 10 of you people, two hours here. Great job. God bless you for caring about my kids. God bless you. I'm being sarcastic. So let's upload some few highlights from Pittsburgh on that Monday.